Hello, my name is Alistair Younger. I'm the director of orthopedic foot and ankle uh, orthopedic research at St. Paul's Hospital and the foot and ankle research office. Um, and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons working at St. Paul's. Hi. How has research being conducted at the foot and ankle clinic improved patient care? Foot and ankle research has helped considerably. There's different types of research, but mainly what patients are concerned about are questions that affect them. So if we do company research, for example, most company research is based on selling a product, but patients don't necessarily want a product or a particular device. What they need is to know what the best treatment is for their condition. So for example, for ankle arthritis, a company might be interested in doing research on an ankle joint replacement but a simpler solution may be more effective, such as an ankle fusion. So the reason that we need help with doing our research is if we go to companies and the companies fund it, then they fund it on products they can sell. We need to find out what we can do that is cost effective and the best treatment for patients. And also for our hospital, we need to find out what is the most cost effective treatment because obviously we shouldn't put in an expensive implant if we find that there's a cheaper operation that can do the job just as well or in some cases even do it better. So that type of research can only be funded by our own patients. And there's other questions that we may need to address that are specific for patients that there are no other funding sources for. For example, whether or not arthroscopy and remobilizing people, uh, weight-bearing or non-weight-bearing after the operation is helpful. There's really no other funding to do that type of question. It's important for patients because it allows them either to get back to work sooner or not get back to work sooner. So it can make a big difference individually. But we can't get the funds from companies and we can't get the funds from granting agencies such as the Canadian Institute of Health Research because their direction quite rightfully is on larger questions like cancer care and cures for diabetes or arthritis. So we're looking at specific questions that address particular patient concerns that there really is no other funding for. And so that's why we've come to patients and asked for help because we find that those are the common questions that we get asked and we quite frankly get frustrated because we can't give a good answer. Thank you. Tell me a bit about what donations to the Orthopaedics Research Fund will support. Well, it goes towards uh, getting the data out of our databases and also collecting data off patients and information off patients as to how they've done. So. Back in 2002, between Vancouver and Vancouver Island, uh, Victoria, and between Toronto and Halifax, we started a database to work out how people are doing with end-stage ankle arthritis. And we've got a huge amount of information now collected on people's health after ankle arthritis and what operation they had done and all sorts of information like whether or not they smoke, what job they do, uh, and um, even questions about whether or not they're depressed and their mental status. Within that whole data bank, we have information that we can pull out and answer many questions for patients. Things like what factors will affect the outcome of their surgery. If they start off and have an operation and they're depressed, will that affect the outcome of their operation? Or if they have an ankle replacement or fusion and they do well, if they start depressed, will they actually do better? Does they, do you feel happier if you have a successful operation? So we have outcomes on whether or not people's ankles hurt before the operation and after the operation, but also information on how they feel. And so there's lots of good information we've got, and we need to pull that information out of the database and publish papers so that that information becomes available not only to our own patients but also to patients worldwide. And we have a number of uh, publications coming out this year and hopefully in the next few years 
that will be in major orthopedic journals. We've been very successful in our paper writing and in getting papers accepted. But this information is all meaningless if it can't get out not only to our own patients, but get to all patients uh, in all orthopedic communities internationally. And so that's what the funding will help do. There's other things that we do well. Um, one of the pioneering things that we do here in Vancouver is arthroscopic foot and ankle surgery. That was based on requests by patients. They came in and said that they didn't like swelling after their ankle operations and they didn't like the pain and they didn't like the discomfort and we didn't like the wound complications of big incision surgery. So we decided that we were going to focus on minimally invasive or arthroscopic surgery. And that's been a huge success for us. It's led to fewer wound complications and we've begun to get papers out showing that that's actually making a big difference. But again, this isn't the type of research that's funded by companies, nor is it funded by major granting institutions, uh, those that focus on cancer and diabetes. So we really need the support of patients to get this information out. <clears throat> the benefit back is that in the future, potentially you'll have operations that cause less pain that will allow you to get better faster and have less swelling. And this is actually what we're known for. If we need to go internationally and talk to foot and ankle surgeons, if you ask them what is Vancouver famous for, they will tell you that we are making big changes in arthroscopic foot and ankle surgery. So that in particular is our hallmark here. And we, in the last couple of years, we have surgeons coming to train with us and we had the top surgeon for training turn up here uh, last ne this year and next year from the United States. So of all the centers to train in North America, they chose Vancouver. And that's based on the quality of research we're doing. We've also won uh, two awards. We've won the top uh, research award in two years now, in 2007 and in 2012. Uh, so essentially we've been well recognized for the work that we do in simply answering questions that are important to patients.